All right, I want to take a quick look at the Promised Land curriculum. This is a curriculum designed for early childhood, so you'd use it in your preschool class, kindergarten classes at church. And they have a kit that runs two years straight. So this here would be year one, 52 weeks there. This here would be year two, 52 weeks there. Uh, the first round was first published in 2007, and this last round was published in 2008. So it's recent, it's not cutting edge, uh, but with early childhood, a lot of time the focus is placed on the content opposed to the deliveries, it's slightly less important for some of those younger ages. What you'll find is they divide the curriculum up into four quarters, and so you'll pull out one of the corners like so, and inside you'll just see a series of discs. It's very simply set up. Um, discs one, two, three, four, and possibly disc five. And inside those discs, you'll find pretty much everything you need for the curriculum. They advertise that Promised Land is set up to be used in either a large group, small group format or as a traditional Sunday school format. So depending on what your needs are, you can pull it out and the stuff is pretty malleable that you can make it work for your team, however that team looks. I want to show you real quick what it looks like on a disc here. Right away, you have some options to run uh, one of their old programs, but as soon as you click the program, you'll realize that it wasn't written for an Intel processor. Now, any uh, Mac PC that's been developed in the last, I don't know how many years, has been running on a classic uh, Intel processor instead of the old Power PC. So those aren't going to run anymore. But what you still get is all of your large group, small group files. I moved it over here to my desktop so it would just be a little easier to read, which is another kind of great plus about the format is that the stuff is so accessible you can just copy and paste it and use it, you know, per their copyright. So they have here just a great kind of um, breakdown of the curriculum, how it starts off, and they just give you an overview of the visuals you're going to use, the small group elements, your activity stations, etc. It's all right in here. They even tell you how to print your stuff. So if you're handing this off to someone who has minimal experience in children's ministries, they should feel right at home following the instructions. As you can see, the artwork um, is pretty minimalistic. They didn't go over the top with it, which means it's going to age pretty well. And like I said, this first series was published in 2007, so um, just five years ago. So uh, one of the first folders you'll see is your activity stations, which again, all your activity stations are broken up into one long PDF document, and you can kind of um, have some cool activities for things for kids to do. We know early childhood, that's really important. So you'll have the whole first quarter's worth of stuff all in this one document. There's a notebook for directors and a, and a guidebook for administrators. The director is going to be the one overseeing the whole program. The administrator is going to be the one who's going to be kind of leading the classes from a different perspective. So this has got a little more polish, so it looks a, a little sharper, um, and it's going to be in the hands of more of your team than in you as a, a leader. The large group portion, you have uh, all the large group lessons here. So we have lessons 1 through 12, which will cover the first quarter. And then we have, of course, um, just a... This is a, just a basic file. I believe this was set up to be used with kind of their, uh, the program that they had written. So it's no longer particularly relevant, but the important stuff that you need is all still there. So we're taking a peek here at lesson nine, a discussion of Moses versus Pharaoh. So I love how they lay out the objectives very, clear, very clearly at the beginning. And they have for each lesson, a spiritual formation. This is something that they want to emphasize for that. Um, so again, it's just really well organized, it's really well laid out, and it's set up in such a way that it is extremely usable. The small group elements are laid out just like the large group. You have 12 different lessons. You can pull them up and they have um, all the stuff that you would want to see for a kids to have a more interactive discussion. Like most curriculums, the large group is going to be just talking up front. The small group is going to be something more where the kids are interactive with what's going on. And again, they did a really good job at laying out the objectives, uh, spiritual formation. Uh, this, this one is focusing on the, the spiritual aspect of obedience. And the Bible verses, of course, are nice and short and clear for and that's relevant for that age group. Willow Creek is the organization behind Promised Land, and they've done a great job investing into a tool that could sustain an early childhood ministry for years and years and years. The fact that it's a two-year scope, of course, is not a big deal because your early childhood kids are only there two or three years tops anyways. And so you'd have a great rotation of kind of an A year and a B year. 
You can find out more about Promised Land at willowcreek.org slash promised land. And then they're going to have their breakdown for you on how to get a hold of the curriculum, how to check it out, and even more training material for your leaders as you continue going forward. So there it is, just a quick snapshot of Promised Land. Very usable, very approachable, very well thought out. A great tool for any church looking to um, create some curriculum guidelines for their early childhood programs. To check out more reviews, go ahead and visit us at cmjumpstart.com. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time.